in a Gata DeVito over here. We got drum solos happening. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, John. And, um, Yes. Uh, yes. What's Rick. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, has, it seems to be, and I've only been here since 98, so not the 20s. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, <John. laughs> Well, him anyway. Well, thank you. Um, it, it seems like this has been a long cold stretch. Yeah. Yeah. It has been. Maybe, maybe we ought to do a, a, a thing on, on winters in Big Bear. You know, we, done. we did that. We did a history show on uh -huh. the history of winter up here, and... Um, yeah, there was times where we had 10, 20 feet of snow. We've got some incredible photos of that. Wow. Too. We'll bring them in sometime. And, and you, there's that one photo that gets everybody in trouble in Big Bear of the people following or being towed by a motorcycle on the lake ice. That was before we had ski resorts up here. Yes. And they took their life in their hands, and yeah, they were out on that lake, and I it was think, crazy. I yeah. think that was in front of Stillwells. Was it really? That was in front of Stillwells, little, yeah. In the little yeah. shallows He used to promote there. that. He'd send all his gifts out onto the lake, and then the rooms would be empty that night, and he could rebook them, you know. And, uh, <laughs> we also terrible. have a photo of our first fire engine in the water in Stillwells. Yeah. Oh, my. One of oh, our fire water. trucks took a dip in the lake. Yeah. If you want to see more of what we're going to get ready to do in here in a second, history show. Is on, let's see, you're on Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sunday. At 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock. And uh, we're on Saturdays and Sundays, uh, 10.30 in the morning and 3.30 in the afternoon, right. about seven times a week. If you missed that, it's on the schedule. You just go right to the Programs tab on channel6bigbear.com, click on that, and it gives you the uh, layout of all of our programs here. That's and right. how long have you guys been doing the history show now? Uh, since about, what, 2003? It's been about 2003. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah several while. years. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think we've got 24 or 25 yeah, we have shows 24 in the 24 shows now. finished. And we're yeah. starting a new ones, and um, yeah, very good, very good. So, what'd you bring us today? Talking about real estate, you brought us some of the some of the pictures of, of what is some of the more prime real estate in Big Bear right now. Well, the village. Well, actually, yes, that's correct. Um, today, we're going to talk a little bit about the most busiest intersection in Big Bear, which is Pine Knot, and a little bit on Pine Knot. Marina. Pine Knot and Big Bear Pine Boulevard. Knot, Big Bear Pine Boulevard. Knot Boulevard. Uh huh. Okay. Right, and um, we're going to touch a little bit on the Peter Pan Woodland Club, which was the Ritz Carlton. Of, of Big Bear, uh, Big Bear ba back in the day. So we have some wonderful facts and photos for you. Yeah, okay. we thought we'd share a few photos. Very good. And uh, if somebody wanted a, a nice coffee table book of some yep. of these photos, I know you can get it at Book and Bean right we here in the village, right next door right. to Bearskins. Right next door to Bearskins, all uh, over the village. Vanishing Big Bear. <laughs> Vanishing and, Big yeah, Bear. Yeah, it's just uh, full of photographs. A lot of the photographs we'll be showing here today are in there. Yes. Okay. And where do you get this stuff? I've been collecting them since 1995. I started working with Tom Core many mm. years ago, back in the late 80s and um, and early 90s, and we had a wonderful relationship. I helped him publish his books and um, his um, Big Bear First 100 Years, mm. and then we went on to, just before he passed away, we finished up um, Saga of the San Bernardinos, Paulino La wow. a massive book, yeah, so. And she just recently passed away, by the way, at over a hundred. Did it should you? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Over a hundred years old. Well, Ruth was at the senior luncheon on Wednesday that the yeah. Rotary did, and she won the bear. She oh. won the bear. For, for being the oldest uh, oh. lady oh, out yeah. there. Good oh. for yeah. her. Yeah. So She's let's jump sweet. into it. What do we got for here first? Now you talk about Pine Knot. Yes. Okay, yeah. so what are we looking at? Shay, bring up the first photo. This is the intersection of Pine Knot Boulevard looking towards the lake, and oh, normally man. what you'd see here, you'd see, <laughs> you'd see, uh, <laughs> Uh, Nottingham's, Charlie Brewster's place on the left, the gas station on the right, the marina, IHOP, and the post well, the office. Oh, IHOP's not anymore. It's the Happy Bear Happy Diner. Happy Bear Diner Happy now. Bear Diner. Yeah, post that's right. Office it just there. changed about a week ago, And, of course, it? no signal. No signal, and as you hmm. can see, this is what it looked like back in the 1920s. Is that a paved road? No. That's dirt. dirt. Uh, the next shot. Okay. Now they paved it at this point. Oh, okay. I'm not exactly sure. When, there's still not a whole lot of construction going on. I think I see a little gazebo mm -hmm. over there on the left. So this is like the 1940s? Uh, no, this is probably... 30s, I'm guessing. Okay. And Village Drive and Pine Knot were the only two paved roads in Big Bear for many, 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 wow. many years. Well, this yeah. was now. Were we still called Pine Knot at that time, or was it Big Bear now? Um, Pine Knot. We got the name Big Bear Lake in 1938. That's when we voted to make. Up until then, it was known mm. as uh, Pine Knot. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. And there was a short period of time back in the. Around 1900, it was known as Pine Lake there for a while. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Because mm -hmm. Fawn Skin was really kind of like the hub. Uh, yes, it was. Before yeah. the village got... That was, yeah, we, pretty much uh, Fonskin is well on its way to becoming the uh, center of the Big Bear community. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I would have loved to have gone to the Half Moon place with the orchestra on the lake. Oh and yeah, Moon Camp. Moon Camp. Yeah. Moon Camp. Yeah. Oh, yes. And oh, the yeah. Samra Camp. You could you could hear the noise. You know the noise. The, noise. the music. The music. Drifting yeah. softly <laughs> clear across the lake. <laughs> it's it's very true. That must have been an amazing Wouldn't time it? to be here. Uh, Can you just imagine that? Yeah. Well, and you look at that and go, who's going to ever want that real estate? Yeah, yeah, who's ever yeah. right? Uh, and now look oh at it. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, if only if only we'd known. Well, <laughs> and you know, back then um, during the the Pine Knot era, there was a gentleman named Dad Skinner, who was kind of the mover and shaker of the Pine Knot community, mm. and he tirelessly mm. promoted Big Bear. He was the one that got winter sports rolling. Oh. He got the village um, going. He did, wow, and he, uh, he established the first chamber of commerce hmm. as well. So he was he was the man that knew that Big Bear had a potential even though there were several obstacles to mm -hmm. overcome which one was winter when because was winter. we were a summertime resort. Right, and, and you still have some of those, um, uh, sorry for going back to real estate, so, but some of the uh, government lease cabins yes. oh, yeah. that are built out there. I mean, you go into some of the, there's no insulation. No, there's, there's no, yeah. they were designed mm -hmm. Summer only. Summer only. Summer only. And they had to be built under certain restrictions. They're mm -hmm. all the same color. Mm -hmm. They're only, really, you know, and uh, you're only allowed to live in there, like you say, certain times right, of the year. Right, they were like elaborate camping. That it was. <laughs> elaborate camping. That was it. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, of course, the Petter, the Petter family moved here. Well, uh -huh. the Petter, and they were, they owned mm -hmm. lots of real estate, mm -hmm. and they owned the real estate up at the top of Pine Knot. Isn't that correct? Uh, they owned everything. Yeah, up, pretty yeah, much back all the way down, 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 down wow. to the lake, down on, from on, along on Knickerbocker. Now, is that the, the mill in Fawnskin? No, 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 that's Petter's son. The Petter's that's Peter's okay. son. This was Petter, oh, Wilmer okay. Petter. And his daughter actually was Big Bear's very first historian oh. who went to high school right here in the Channel 6 building. Yeah, right. building and yeah. she wrote the panorama. Her mm -hmm. and her class of 1934 wrote the very first history book that we all still yeah. refer to today. Wow, wow. So what's our next picture here? Shay, what's next? Okay. This is what the Pine Knot Marina used to look like way back when, and okay. com compared to what it looks like right now. And what are they doing? Getting ready to and, go parasailing uh, yeah, there? It looks or? like they're getting ready to load up one of the tour boats, I think. I'm not oh, quite sure there, but I think this was shot right after World War II. This is right around 1946 or so. My goodness. Uh, Shay, bring up the next one. we got a long shot here. This was before any of the buildings, IHOP, post office, or mm. anything. As you can see, it was a beach. Wow. Then. Yeah. And the lake was usually low, so there was always plenty of beach. That mm -hmm. The lake would almost go out almost another quarter of a mile by the time the end of summer was over because oh, wow. they were constantly now, is this the, uh, So, talking about the lake levels, first mm -hmm. dam, second dam? Uh, for, this is the second dam. The Eastwood this Dam is, is the here, dam. Okay. but they would drain it. The lake could be full uh, in Because spring. the water belonged to the orange groves. That's right, okay. and they, they built it because they needed water. They, you know, and the resorts up here came afterwards. Right, mm -hmm. Redlands owned yeah. the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, each, every single week, they had to push those docks farther and farther and farther out into the middle of the lake. Wow, because yeah. that other picture looked like they were kind of trekking across some makeshift yeah, sidewalks some, yeah, there. A little bit of, yeah, a little bit of, yeah. on the, they're on the dirt there. It must have been in spring or so, but by the time some wow. had rolled around, they could be a quarter mile out to get to the lake. Wow. wow. Now, do you, do you have any, any record of, of the weather back then? I mean, did we have those torrential um, rains and floods? And snow. It, yeah, it seemed like we had a lot more weather back then. Like, we? and it, yeah. Well, even I moved up here in 69, and our weather pattern has changed radically mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. in, the, in the 40 years that I've been here. So. It's all that pavement down the hill. <laughs> That's it. That's, That's it. what it is. It's yeah. heating things yeah. up there. Mm -hmm. All right, what have we got next? Jay, yeah. bring up the next one here. Well, wouldn't this it be nice this, to have, we'll hang out on that beach. <laughs> yeah, it would have. Yeah. 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 It would have been yeah. great. Yeah. Well, this is another, they're starting to build a little bit over there at the marina, and you see some construction going on uh -huh. there. they got a building in there. And Shay, flip to the next one, would you? Um, this is uh -oh. from the docks, looking towards, yes. now you can see the, the docks are Quite a ways out, though. You see that line of trees there uh -huh. in the background? That's right on the water line. We're looking where? at we're looking across up across the lake. Yeah, across the lake there. That's right where the water line is today. And you're looking up Pine Nut Boulevard there. And, oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. All and right. this isn't a classic. I thought it was the, yeah. the North Shore we were looking at. And you know we got a classic boat <laughs> no, show each so. year. This isn't yes. a classic boat show. These are classic oh, boats from the 1940s. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> the old wooden boats. <laughs> These, were the stuff, yeah. These were the new ones. These were the new ones. New old wooden boats. Yeah. Wow. Shay, flip to the next one. Would you, How much could you buy a boat for then? Oh, I don't have a clue. Yeah, boy. It was, you know, uh, probably we'll a couple sure. thousand dollars we'll have for to get, the whole We'll have to get Charlie in and, uh -huh. and find yeah. out what you can get a Chris Yeah, he would know. He would yeah. know, yeah. 
<laughs> now here's an interesting shot. People, this is where the post office sits right now in the park. Mm. And oh, yeah. uh, you the, recognize the, the building on the right. Mm -hmm. But if you look at it on the left there, that is the fire department. The fire department sat there where the post office is now. Mm. That was our fire department. Now, you know, a, 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 kind of a common theme in all the history was a lot of these old buildings were lost to fire. Yes. Did we yeah. only have like two guys or what? I, you know, we did a, we did a show on <laughs> the history of fire. Yes. Yeah. I remember I, that, so that's why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everything has been burned to yeah. the ground yeah. and replaced. Yeah. It's well, just amazing. Uh, the Big Bear Lake Fire Department was actually formed in 1927, okay. and they saved enough money to buy one of those Seagrave fire trucks, fire yeah. trucks. Mm -hmm. and we have I'm sorry, photos. I don't know what a that's, fire well, truck it's is. just well, it's, it's, no, it, it was in one of the original style. Fire engines that okay. didn't require a pump and a horse. Oh, okay. it was okay. a real okay. fire truck. Okay. Real the fire problem truck. was is that they had a hard time getting water to the truck mm. in order to accommodate a huge yeah. blaze. Especially if the lake was down. So well, it, we, we yeah. had we in one of our history shows we have a photo of a burning building on Pine Knot and the fireman all by himself just sitting next to the sea. <laughs> there was nothing. nothing there was to nothing do, really. he could do. Nothing just, he could do. He was out of water. Yeah. He had mm -hmm. done what he could. He had to sit there with the fire engine and watch oh. it burn. Yeah. So did they actually like have to take a hose, a siphon, and run it down to the you lake? Know, or? Uh, I, it, I guess the water bill will be ob obviously improved with, it, mm -hmm. with the delivery of water, and that just happened over many, many years. There was another factor. The fire department was all volunteer, mm. and we didn't have radios and cell phones back then. So basically, if there was a fire, somebody phoned one in, they would sound off a horn, and all the fire people would quit. The, either if they are working on the job, they'd rush out to the fire department to find out where the fire is, or if in the middle of the night, they'd all that horn and they'd come in so it took a while to get mm. to the fire also. They weren't sure if it was an air raid or a fire but yeah. <laughs> I guess they all reported anyway. Yeah there was exactly. that time when we had we were, Absolutely we were, that was right yeah, in there. We were sure. worried about air raids. <laughs> That's right yeah. yeah. 76 years ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 crazy yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay so what else have we got here? What do we got next Shay? Um, okay now this is looking towards First Mountain Bank from the park. This is the parking lot of IHOP literally. Okay. And they had a little train rolling there. And uh, Shay, if you flip, yeah, I b believe it or I not. I remember that train. Yeah, there's another one. Now, this is looking Now, the up. new train coming up is just slightly yep. larger than this. This is looking up Pine Knob Boulevard. And as you can see, uh, Robin Hood is not, is not there yet. There is a gas station on the left. But these little amusements were always there all summer long. Uh -huh. And there's another one. I don't know if you recognize that building, John. That, this is where the park is right now. And this is the post office parking lot. Uh -huh. That building in the background, you can see vintage up there in the right-hand corner. Yes. Uh, Robin Hood would have been across the street. That building is no longer there. That's where the park is. Huh. And I do believe so, that's Tom Core sitting in that train. Oh, my. It probably is. Oh, yeah. my. We have that picture at the museum. Do you? Yeah. And, you know, Noel talks all the time about all the amusements that were going yeah. on there in, were. in the village. That's it was right. really... Different. Kind of, kind of the fat city of California yeah. there. Exactly. Yeah, we went, Lots of yeah. taverns. Yeah. Chad's, I think, was still there. Yeah. Noel, has a, Noel has a mountain of information about yes. this. Yeah, when he gets back up here this um Well, he's spring, kind of a party animal. He, can, he really yeah. is kind of a party animal. He always had something yeah. going on back then. But, uh, no, he has a lot of good stories to talk about. Yeah, they talk about the shooting gallery and yeah, the dance that's right. halls mm -hmm. and the... All that kind of the stuff. The sugar shack. Yeah. And, sugar and, shack, yeah. Uh, there was, and then at, at one period of time mm. when I first moved up here, right next to the post office, there was one of those giant slides that you take the burlap sack oh, down. Oh, yes, uh-huh. And so That's my friends right. would... Yeah. We were in high school, so we mm. would take our gunny sacks and we would kind of go over there in the middle of the night, mm. and, nope. and we'd go down the loop de loop. <laughs> so that sits right. That sat right where uh, that's right. IHOP it sat right slash there. Whatever's uh, there. We should have brought some photos into that. It's funny we never had a uh, um, uh, uh, water park type thing. No, we do. What well, we do now? We got we yeah. have fluctuating you know, lake. Red Ant Hill. Yeah. The, the lake. We had the lake. Okay, we got. Yeah. Let's hit this last one, the airfield, okay. and then we've got to go to commercial here. Okay. And this was uh, Big Bear's first airport. No, it's not. Basically, it's not. this was but it has this planes. is this is the um, the marina. We're still at the intersection here. A guy uh, named I Sammy know. Mason back in 1945-46. Um, Big Bear City was quite a ways away, and he wanted to deliver people directly to the village. So mm. he, the lake was always so low in the summertime that he cut out an airfield uh, right there at the end of Pine Knot Boulevard, and he'd land planes and uh, deliver people right to the village. You can see still wells in the background there. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and when the water was up. 
I guess Sammy didn't land. Oh my goodness. Well, that, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes with a little bit more and talk to Bill Baker and uh, hear his entry in the competition we've got going on for Big Bear's new theme song. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.